Good day, Philippines. This is Mike Padawan. We're back to our latest update on LPA 97W. This is for today, Friday, August 5, 2022. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here is the latest graph set we issued just uh, this uh, afternoon. LPA 97W is starting to cross Northern Quezon and it's now along the coastline of uh, very close to Infanta. And its uh, rain bounds is affecting Central Zone, including Calabar Zone, Metro Manila, Bicol Region, and some portions of Mimacopa. And also its trough, or monsoon trough, is also affecting the Visayas, Northern Palawan, and the northern portions of Sulu Archipelago. So expect some rainfall, uh, light, moderate to heavy, with some severe thunderstorms. And the threat of uh, flooding and landslide is currently at high status as of this time because of the volume of the rainfall, which could generate around 50 to 100 millimeters when you are in the path of these severe thunderstorms. Uh, in other sections of the country, like Northern Luzon, Mindanao, uh, fair weather with uh, afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected, while the Batanes will be under the influence of the ridge of high pressure centered over Okinawa. So good weather will be expected over this island group. Meanwhile, 8W is just a remnant low uh, standing by over the uh, southern China area. And uh, 97W is still a low chance of the becoming a tropical cyclone because it's starting to interact with the mountainous terrain of the southern Sierra Madre. So expect some uh, disorganized uh, circulation. And it will uh, reorganize once it reaches the West Philippine Sea, west of Pangasinan or Sambales, sometime uh, tomorrow or morning or late afternoon. Once the system has traversed uh, the central portions of Luzon uh, later tonight. So expect more rainfall. Please take all necessary precautions across the flood prone areas of central and southern Luzon because these uh, rain bands of uh, LPA 97W is still intact. So scattered to widespread rains will be expected. And uh, outside of PAR, it's all clear except for an active intertropical convergence zone across Micronesia and the Marshall Islands. Let's take a look at the uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. There you go. The whole of the central and southern zone, including Metro Manila, is now under the influence of the circulation of LPA 97W. So expect on and off uh, to uh, widespread rainfall with severe thunderstorms across these areas and also some. Uh, Rainfall will also be expected across the Bicol region and uh, Visayas because of the monsoon trough connecting uh, tropical uh, uh, disturbance or LPA 97W. Uh, Here is the uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com beginning at 10 a.m. until uh, 3.30 p.m. this afternoon. The LPA is now beginning to traverse uh, Central Luzon, and uh, as of this time, around uh, 4 p.m., it's now in the vicinity of Northern Quezon, traversing central portion of Luzon for the next uh, 6 to 12 hours, so expect more rainfall uh, all the way across the uh, southern portions of Northern Luzon, although these are only uh, limited rainfall, but the bulk of the rainfall are concentrated over the central plain of Luzon, so please take all necessary precautions. And once this system reaches the West Philippine Sea, the Southwest Monsoon, which is uh, absent right now, uh, the monsoon is just right here over to the west of uh, Borneo, and we expect that to reactivate once it reformed, once this LPA, once this LPA reforms as a monsoon depression over the West Philippine Sea. Here's the rain forecast from the European model. This is the latest one as of 8 a.m. And uh, the forecast for the next three days until Monday, it shows that by tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Saturday, the LPA is likely to emerge over the west coast of uh, Central Luzon, along Sambales or Pangasinan. So expect more rainfall here along Bataan and the western sections of Central Luzon. Metro Manila will still uh, experience some on and off rainfall with thunderstorms. And by uh, tomorrow afternoon, 
The uh, LPA is expected to be over the West Philippine Sea, reorganizing to the west of Ilocos uh, region, with uh, the uh, southwest monsoon starting to uh, uh, reemerge, okay, over the uh, Palawan and western Visayas area. So there will be more rains in store across these uh, island uh, areas. And on uh, Sunday morning, the LPA is now uh, moving out of the Philippine area of responsibility, but the southwest monsoon remains across the Spratlys, Clayana Island Group, Mimaropa, Western Visayas, and also some portions of the Bicol region will also be affected by this uh, weak uh, southwest monsoon. And on Sunday afternoon, thunderstorm activity will again prevail across various sections of the country, including Mindanao. So there you go. This is now the uh, southwest monsoon being uh, reactivated by this uh, large LPA. On Monday afternoon, the uh, large LPA, which is uh, a 97W, is starting to become a uh, large system, uh, typical of a monsoon depression. So here's the uh, periphery of that monsoon depression, bringing some winds of up to 50 kph along these areas of the West Philippine Sea. So the uh, western coastal areas of Central Luzon will have uh, heavy rainfall as well with some winds from the southwest and south and also across the Kalayan and Spratly Islands while here across the Philippine Islands the wind and uh, weather conditions will return to normal with light winds from the south over the uh, Sulu Archipelago and uh, elsewhere variable winds Calm conditions will be expected with some winds from the south across Bicol and uh, portions of western Visayas. So far, that's the latest on uh, tropical disturbance, so LPA 97W. Right now, it's still a low chance of becoming a tropical cyclone, but it will continue to dump heavy rainfall with thunderstorms across central and southern Luzon, including Metro Manila and also portions of the Bicol region, Mimaropa, and western Visayas in the next couple of days because of the uh, enhanced southwest monsoon, especially this coming Saturday, Sunday. Again, this is Mike Padua. See you again tomorrow for the latest on LPA 97W. Stay safe always. Be hashtag Thank you so much for watching our channel.